So after so many misses, I thought we would try for something that's actually designed for drawing and inking. This is a Hunt Extra Fine and this would be considered a spoon nib. You guys have seen me talk about spoon and sagey nibs on the channel before. That's if I can get it in the holder. I'm gonna have to switch holders. Hmm. I think this will work. Nope. What the health? What the health, guys? Fortunately, I, since I do teaching demonstrations, I have a boatload of holders and I am pretty sure this inexpensive speedball. Yep. Figured the speedball would work. All right, so we've got our Denik paper, we've got our FW acrylic ink in Payne's Gray, and we've got a sheet of scratch paper just slightly off camera. This is a very fine point. So we will zoom it zoom, and I believe there is no flex at all, at all, in this nib. So since there's less flex, I tend to go very, very fast when there's, whoa, okay. That happened. Now I can at least show you guys how to fix that. It's very, very easy. You need some paper towel. It's gonna tear off a corner. And then we're going to just dab it up and try not to make it bigger. Kara's got a big old bug coming out of her nose right now. All right. So that is probably user error. I probably should have been better about getting the excess in the ink. And I will, from this point, henceforth, I will be more careful with that. And that way, if it drips again, you guys know it's the nib and not this fool behind the nib. be very delicate about going over lines. I have found that with drawing nibs like this with no flex, I tend to eat up the paper. So we want to be careful not to overwork an area too quickly. Oh, poor Kara with your bug. Someone needs to wipe her nose. So one of the things we can do is we can just go ahead and line it and then go back and add some additional line weight after we've lined it or we can attempt to do it now and just be very There's a little flex in this nib, not a whole lot. It really reminds me of inking with the platinum desk pen where I really wanted to bear down and give it line weight because I was very used to semi-flex nibs. And I ended up ruining the paper, but I'm gonna be very light-handed with this. There is some flex though, like I said, so you can actually get some line weight variation. This is probably Great for those of you who do very delicate line weight. Um, it's actually performing better than I, I didn't think it was gonna be a flop because compared to some of the nibs I've recently reviewed, which were probably great for their intended usage, but terrible for what I wanted. But other than it not fitting in my favorite holder, it's not bad at all. And these are pretty common to find. 
I know Speedball, who puts the hunt nibs out, or at least distributes them. Uh, Speedball is sold like in a lot of craft and hobby stores. You can probably find the set I got this nib from in like your local Michaels. But it's really better than I thought it would be. Except for that drippy bug, and that was all on me. Yeah, not really nipping into the paper, not really tearing the paper, not too much spidering, which is good because this Denic paper likes to spider. And yeah, other than this sad, woebegone area of bugs. Looking, looking pretty good. This is actually a pretty good nib. You can probably order it open stock through Paper and Ink Arts. As they do open stock nibbage, which is not something you typically see. Here I am off camera. You guys should really tell me. I should say something about that. I'm relying on you guys to, to call me out. Let me know I'm not on camera anymore. Sleeping at the job. Always, I always end up screwing up the eyelashes because I draw really heavy eyelashes. And that's a lot of water on the paper, even if you're using ink. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave the eyelashes a little underworked and we'll just come back to them. Oh, but Caddis has arrived us, even though he was uninvited us. Shoo. Get Bo. No, please. He's really trying to climb in my lap. And I'm like all hunched over recording this. All right. So not bad. Not bad. He thinks I'm talking to him as he forces ow, his way into my lap. No. Anyway. Anyway. Not bad. I'm gonna have to let the ink dry. I'm gonna wipe. Thank you so much for forcing your way into my lap. I'm gonna put a spike mat on my lap. Um, he gets all tangled up. Oh, look, there's two. I don't know if you guys can see it because my camera doesn't wanna focus. There's actually two slits to add that extra flex, but much less flex than a clicker phenip would have. Shoot. So I'm going to let this all dry and then I'll come back to it. All right, let's finish this little lady up. Her eyes look good, but you know, I have to have to take the chance of ruining them. All right, so other than that terrible bug, she turned out all right, pretty cute. Shame about that mucus, though. Anyway, the hunt. Whoa, I gotta write it down, that's right. Hunt, third, no, can't be 33. What are you? Only one way to find out. Hunt extra fine, bowl pointed is what they're calling it. Hunt extra fine. 
want extra fine, won't you be mine? Mm. Bold. Pointed. I like this one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, you can find it probably just about anywhere. You will probably have to buy it in a pack unless you order it from someplace like Paper and Ink Arts. Um, not a bad little nib. Slight amount of flex. So I think this could be a really good one for people who want to use nibs for their comics because since it's not super flexy, it's not dropping a huge amount of, of ink. So it's not going to spread all over the place. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will check out my big O post over at natasoup.blogspot.com where I talk about nibs and dip pens for artists. And I hope you guys will let me know in the comments below if there is something I should take a look at or something uh, you want to show me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day.